Korea is in the grip of one of the longest droughts to have ever affected the country. Reservoirs have receded and farmers are struggling to take care of their crops as rainfall has been half that of an average year. Our Kim Hyun Bin reports on why the government takes why the government needs to take action now to avoid seeing more of the same every year. Korea is stuck in a drought that some experts say could be the worst in over a century. While many researchers are still scratching their heads, some are leaning toward the theory that it's down to climate change caused by global warming. The Korea Meteorological Administration said Tuesday that accumulated rainfall in Seoul, Gyeonggi-do, and Gangwon-do provinces from the start of the year to mid-June was half that of an average year. Many experts say global warming is changing the length of the seasons, which has become a contributing factor to extreme weather phenomena, including droughts, typhoons, and heat waves. The nation's weather agency says it expects this year's rainy season to hit the central region in early July. Looking at the mid-range forecast, we are seeing less rainfall than normal, so the monsoon season will probably arrive later than usual. After analyzing the effects of climate change on the Korean peninsula, experts say that while the monsoon season might solve the drought for now, it's very likely Korea will suffer another extended dry period next year. They say the Korean government needs to establish long-term measures to counter droughts and the effects of climate change. In a related development, Korea's Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs said on Tuesday that it plans to set aside roughly 56 million U.S. dollars to provide water and aid to the agricultural industry. The ministry says it will cooperate with local governments until the end of the month to find ways to supply water and balance supply and demand for agricultural goods in the affected region. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.